Oh, hi, Amix. What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting you so early. What time is it? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I was actually just celebrating the anniversary of the first time my customer told me to go fuck myself, so I was about to do that, but. Since you're here, we can hang out. I just need to get something out of the way right now before we start. If you want to hang out with me, you need to know. So here we go. <laughs> this is how curly hair looks like before I put like 130 products on it and scrunch it for like three hours. I'm loving the dry hay look, you know. I know we all love a good makeover, so here we go. So, did I bring it? I think I brought it. <laughs> what do you think? I was feeling a little dark today, so this is what I came up with. <laughs> How are you? I missed you so much. <laughs> Come here and say hello. Amix, I have so much to tell you today. First, I want to talk about my very promising drawing career that I left when I was like 16 because I realized I suck at it. <laughs> but today we need to take up on that again because when I created my channel, I had to do pretty much everything from scratch on my own, like the banner, the profile pic and all of that. Then when I went to set it up, it asked me for a picture for my icon which is that little picture that you see at the lower right corner of my video and I didn't have one for that so I just cropped one of my profile pics and it was an awful idea, it looks awful, I hate it what we're gonna do today is we're going to make a, a new icon and I was thinking about making an, an illustration maybe so I have no idea how to do this <laughs> so for today I thought um, if I want to make an illustration I think illustrator would be the best i don't know about programs and i'm not gonna look into it very much because i don't have that much time <laughs> so i'm just going to go download that in a very legal way i just want you to come with me while i try to figure out how to use it <laughs> and let's see how it turns out i'm going to start just fucking around with this program i have never in my life seen illustrator uh, so I don't even know how it looks like but I'm just gonna try to um, check all the tools see what they do that's what I normally do when I use a new software um, I actually recently also learned how to use Photoshop from scratch because I had to edit the photos of my channel and all of that so I just used like my reference was kind of PowerPoint <laughs> which was all the experience I had with illustrating things, I guess. Uh, and usually I used PowerPoint for any type of illustration when I needed to do a, post a poster or, you know, a presentation or any illustration I even did. How's it called? Pictoline. I'm gonna create a new project here, I think. I, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know why that is not loading or that's normal. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so I guess now I choose a size for the canvas. Um, I really have no... Oh, this looks very similar to Photoshop, actually. So I have no idea where to start. At first, if you can guess what I'm going to do, I want to do, of course, a passion fruit. Uh, but I was actually thinking that it would be much more beautiful if I did the flower because I mean that's just I mean this plant is just perfect like literally the fruit tastes like heaven it has the most beautiful and aromatic flower in the earth I actually have a tattoo of it because I love it so much <laughs> uh, I like this picture maybe we can Uh, of course, I'm not going to use the picture from someone else. I'm just going to use it kind of a, like a template. I'm not sure if you can do this in Illustrator, but, but I would like to just upload it and use it like... Uh, just take the edges off. 
uh, and use them like kind of as the crocus of my drawing, my illustration, I don't know if that's possible. So it was just as I thought, um, from the videos I watched I gathered that we need to use like the pen tool, I think it's this one, to just kind of draw the edges of the image so there is nothing that we can use to just get it automatically which sucks but I mean we have to do that so that's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I can already see me losing my mind by the end of this. So for you to get an idea of how much I don't have an idea of how to do this or how to draw or anything, I'm gonna show you uh, my first steps into drawing, which were very concerning if I may add. <laughs> Being the whip that I am, of course I wanted to draw anime <laughs> or manga, better said, I think. I wanted to draw manga, so of course I started with that when I was a very very little. I don't have those drawings with me, but I used to like <laughs> I used to draw like very racially uh, inaccurate and stereotypical Japanese girls. You know, I would draw them with like little kimonos and with the big anime eyes and like little space buns I think <laughs> I don't know why I imagined everyone in Japan used space buns with like the chopsticks on them <laughs> anyways <laughs> so here's my attempt at that uh, years later I just started being obsessed with drawing all my friends in anime <laughs> so this is one of those of those drawings this was one of my best friends at the time I was like 13 I think and yeah, I just uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. Talented, it's just interesting. The hair, I love the hair. It's just like super streaky. <laughs> I remember that I would always like draw the eyes first because of course that was like the most challenging uh, or so I thought. And it was very funny because then you, I wouldn't know how to make the face fit the eyes so it would be like just a mess and that's why all their faces were always like super big and just not match their body at all okay so i'm having trouble understanding what to do next because i did the tracing around the the, the edges of the petals and now i have like this white shape i don't know why it turned white in the tutorials it didn't happen and i didn't find how to avoid that so i'm just going to create another layer and stop you know just make this invisible and i will start doing the center of it i'm really worried about this because i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to maybe i can make it bigger yeah I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this so it looks good. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to do it as best as I can. You know, see, the problem is that when it starts turning white, I just can't see what the fuck I'm doing, so... Guys, I found it. I found how to make it, how to make it clear. So I just needed to, <laughs> I just needed to click this, like make it just to make it just clear. Thank you. I I think I'm just gonna fast forward this because it's going to be a long ride. So see you later, bitches. Now we have the time where I started copying drawings from the internet so I would just literally plagiarize them <laughs> and then show them so proudly like I made them um, but this one I like I it was of course it's not mine I don't know who drew this in the beginning but it was Marilyn Manson I know he's super cancelled but I was super proud of this uh, drawing it, but at the time I was a big fan of course because I have such a black heart and he was like the most dark person I knew at the time so of course I admired him I now 
don't so don't come at me <laughs> um, but yeah this is my rendition of Marilyn Manson and here is when I started um, incursioning in the creating my own drawings for this drawing I had just so much darkness festering inside me after listening to a gothic romance from Cradle of Filth so like I needed to put it on a canvas and this is what turned out now funny enough the canvas was like <laughs> this corporate notebook that my dad got from a convention or something like that and it was it had a grid <laughs> I don't know why I didn't bother to find like a blank page notebook so I could make my drawings there so I used <laughs> this notebook and as you can see it is a pretty interesting drawing it shows you all the details about my dark tortured soul <laughs> I remember I made this drawing like a, a 3 a.m. or something like I have always had like awful sleeping schedules because I suffer from insomnia a lot so this was a product of a very sleep deprived satira <laughs> at 16 <laughs> years old. I know, oh no, this was at 14 years old actually. Um, yeah, so you have all the, all the elements, you know, you have to have a cross. A super blasphemous message, I think I got that quote from like the the satanic bible from uh, Lave because I was obviously so much against religion at that time. I was also at an all girls catholic school so it was kind of um, you know, a cliche. I needed to go against that. I put so much pressure on the pencil to draw the edges of that cross. I don't know why, like I was so angry at religion <laughs> or something like that. That was my beginning at trying to draw or illustrate. My hands are hurting so much, so I think it's time for a Okay, we're getting to the final round now, so I'm not gonna lie, I did not look any of this up, I just kind of figured cutting meant selecting a segment and then just erasing it, uh, I'm not sure I did it correctly, but I just selected the scissors tool and clicked on one point, then another, and the segment was selected in red, so I just pressed delete, uh, and it went away, as I wanted. Uh, here I noticed the lines were looking very rough, so I tried to join them so it looked a little better. For the details of the base of the pistol, I just kind of wing it and went for the paintbrush. I had an option for spots, so I selected that and went ham on the design <laughs> over the template. Um, you know, just taking out all my knowledge from powerpoint and paint bitches <laughs> so uh, I did not really hesitate that much you know this feature is just crazy I found it from a tutorial in YouTube that you can just like create an interactive painting tool and the sections of the illustration you make just kind of uh, become a whole element you can just select them and paint them individually which makes it a lot easier for everyone <laughs> including me you may have noticed this already but I like learning things the hard way your girl likes a challenge you know I always enter new things assuming I can just do anything and I do not even worry about things being easy or hard which you know sometimes bites me in the ass but I just go with it and I feel that just makes it more enjoyable and also the experience is more meaningful to me when I have to suffer through it <laughs> but no like I just 
like answering my own questions and you know if I have to think very hard to get the answer it just it, it's just more likely that I remember what I learned if you want to come along with me to learn new things every week and earn some awesome fruit along the way don't forget to like and subscribe also let me know in the comments how would you go about doing this for the first time or if you are an illustrator god please enlighten me anyway i'm not good at everything but i obviously nailed this so check out this incredible piece of art that is only worthy of being shown at the louvre